Camelid, Wikipedia article audio. Camelids are members of the biological family Camelidae, the only currently living family in the suborder Tylopoda. The extant members of this group are Dromedary camels, Bactrian camels, Wild Bactrian camels, Llamas, Alpacas, Vacua plus or minus as, and Guanacos. Camelids are even toed ungulates classified in the order Cetartiodactyla, along with pigs, whales, deer, cattle, antelope, and many others. Characteristics Evolution Camelids are large, strictly herbivorous animals with slender necks and long legs. They differ from ruminants in a number of ways. Their dentition show traces of vestigial central incisors in the incisive bone, and the third incisors have developed into canine-like tusks. Camelids also have true canine teeth and tusk-like premolars, which are separated from the molars by a gap. The musculature of the hind limbs differs from those of other ungulates in that the legs are attached to the body only at the top of the thigh rather than attached by skin and muscle from the knee upwards. Because of this, camelids have to lie down by resting on their knees with their legs tucked underneath their bodies. They have three-chambered stomachs, rather than four-chambered ones, their upper lips are split in two, with each part separately mobile, and, uniquely among mammals, their red blood cells are elliptical. They also have a unique type of antibodies which lack the light chain, in addition to the normal antibodies found in other mammals. These so-called heavy chain antibodies are being used to develop single domain antibodies with potential pharmaceutical applications. Camelids do not have hooves, rather they have two-toed feet with toenails and soft foot pads. Most of the weight of the animal rests on these tough, leathery sole pads. The South American camelids, adapted to steep and rocky terrain, can move the pads on their toes to maintain grip. Many fossil camelids were ungulagrade and probably hooved, in contrast to all living species. Camelids are behaviorally similar in many ways, including their walking gait in which both legs on the same side are moved simultaneously. Consequently, camelids large enough for human beings to ride have a typical swaying motion. Dromedary camels, Bactrian camels, llamas, and alpacas are all induced ovulators. The three Afro-Asian camel species have developed extensive adaptations to their lives in harsh, near-waterless environments. Wild populations of the Bactrian camel are even able to drink brackish water, and some herds live in nuclear test areas. Scientific Classification Comparative Table of the Seven Extant Species in the Family Camelidae Phylogeny Extinct Genera Camelids are unusual in that their modern distribution is almost the inverse of their area of origin. Camelids first appeared very early in the evolution of the even-toed ungulates, around 45 million years ago during the Middle Eocene, in present-day North America. Among the earliest camelids was the rabbit-sized Pratilopus, which still had four toes on each foot. By the late Eocene, around 35 million years ago, camelids such as Pobrotherium had lost the two lateral toes, and were about the size of a modern goat. The family diversified and prospered, but remained confined to the North American continent until only about two or three million years ago, when representatives arrived in Asia, and South America. A high arctic camel from this time period has been documented in the far northern reaches of Canada. The original camelids of North America remained common until the quite recent geological past, 
but then disappeared, possibly as a result of hunting or habitat alterations by the earliest human settlers, and possibly as a result of changing environmental conditions after the last ice age, or a combination of these factors. Three species groups survived, the dromedary of northern Africa and southwest Asia, the Bactrian camel of Central Asia, and the South American group, which has now diverged into a range of forms that are closely related, but usually classified as four species, llamas, alpacas, guanacos, and vacua plus or minus as. Fossil came lids show a wider variety than their modern counterparts. One North American genus, Titanodilopus, stood 3.5 m at the shoulder, compared with the about 2 m of the largest modern came lids. Other extinct came lids included small, gazelle-like animals, such as Stenomalus. Finally, a number of very tall, Giraffe-like came lids were adapted to feeding on leaves from high trees, including such genera as Episamalus and Oxydactylus. It is still debated whether the wild Bactrian camel is in fact a distinct species or a subspecies. The divergence date is 0.7 million years ago, long before the start of domestication. Family Camelidae 12 to 25 Maya. The newly discovered giant Syrian camel has yet to be officially described. A Euro subfamily Pobrodontini, A Euro subfamily Pobrotherini, A Euro subfamily Miolabini, A Euro subfamily Stenomalini, A Euro subfamily Florida Tragulini, Subfamily Camelini, Tribe Lamini, Genus. Llama, Llama, Llama Glama, Guanaco, Llama Guanico.